I was surprised. Uh, so, um, Takako, can you share the screen? Perfect. And okay. uh, you can activate the audio. Perfect. Please, you can start. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I am Takako Kaguchi from Nagoya University, Japan. I will talk about introducing AC Pututics to the state updating rule in the near. As you know, cell automata are composed of a regular lattice of cells with identical local transition functions and have been used as discrete tool of modularization. Especially, Game of Life is a cross card to the cellular automaton with binary states at each step based on the number of the living cells in the neighborhood. Each living cell dies due to underpopulation or overcrowding or survives. And each dead cell becomes alive if the number takes exactly a medium value. GRL is not only able to generate complex dynamic patterns, but also is Turing complete. Inya, um, which is proposed by Vatchan, is an extension of GRL with continuous space, time, and state. In other words, space with larger neighborhood, time with update in smaller increments and the state um, with real values and with generalized local rules by conversion with kernel, kernel and the update using smooth mapping. But John has shown that a linear can automatically generate by various fascinating platforms. It wears a resemblance to real world microscopic organisms. Its extensions include um, higher dimensions and multiple kernels and multiple channels. And this figure shows the is example of multi, multi channel linear. We propose a different formulation introducing asymptotic text in the state updating as linear one. Here we call original linear as linear zero. This table summarizes the three models, Game of Life, Original Linear, and the proposed model. First, in GOL, after initialization of cell states, total stick sum is calculated at each cell, and corresponding to the result, each cell state changes. Then the states of cells are updated, the, this, um, this process is repeated again and again. In linear zero and one, totalistic sum in GOL is generalized as convolution using kernel K. And also the survival bus branching in GOL is generalized. And the difference between linear zero and one is the interpretation of the result of convolution. In linear zero, the result is interpreted to specify the growth uh, of the cell. On the other hand, in linear one, the result is interpreted to specify the target state of the cell. The target function t is simply converted from the growth function using this equation. After these calculations, it's each cell state is updated in linear zero. A small fraction of the growth is added to each cell state. Clipping to the region from zero to one is necessary. In linear one, a small fraction of the difference between the target and current cell state is added to each cell state. This change in formulation uh, introduces a sympathetics in rule updating in linear. This shows the process in linear zero, uh, initialization, convolution, growth function, state updating, and clipping. 
This shows a case for Lenin initialization, convolution, target function, and state updating. This slide shows the parameters for linear zero and one. We can change the texture of the kernel in rectangular exponential. We can also change the number and the height of the kernel. In this example shows that uh, there are three peaks and their heights are one, one half, and one. We can change the growth function, for example, rectangular, exponential, or polynomial function. These are the important parameters, the sigma and the mu. They are the width and position of the peak of the growth function, respectively. We will search for organisms in sigma and mu space later. This shows the comparison of lifelike shear models. The ear part shows the linear family, including the property model linear one. I don't explain details of this table, but specifically, smooth life is most similar to linear, similar to linear. And actually, smooth life can generate similar patterns found in linear. The difference is generalization in mapping and updating in linear. Anyway, focusing on the universal properties of the generated patterns in these models seems a challenging topic. First, we, we performed preliminary research for the organisms in linear one. We adapted a strategy using all of the parameter sets that were reported to generate organisms in linear zero. We performed 50 trials for each parameter set with a random initial configuration. We found only three organisms in linear one. These are the three organisms we found, and these are linear zero organisms. We found that the new organisms are tend to move more smoothly than the organisms in linear zero. Each pair has the same parameter set as shown here. We see that um, these two organisms move with flattering tail fins and limbs. And these smooth behaviors are probably due to the adapted as asymptotic updating. Also, uh, it seems that the internal structure of the organisms is more complicated. We found other linear zero organisms and that have more similar body or behavior than those with the same parameters respectively. And this fact might show that and there exists universal structure or behavior of linear world and beyond the difference in updating methods or parameter values. Next, we turned our attention to the parameter regions in which organisms exist. Uh, linear zero organisms are known to exist in a specific region of the mu sigma parameter space. As I explained, uh, sigma and mu are the parameters for growth function G or text function T. Mu represents the position of the peak and sigma represents the width of the peak. In other words, and they represent a kind of survivability and a kind of optimal density for survival, respectively. This is a typical mesoma map with organisms, and the red region uh, represents the area where patterns spread across the world. The blue region shows the area where no pattern appears at all. The white region between blue and red regions shows the parameter area where organisms are generated. The reason for the boundary like this is that the higher the value of 
meal in the higher the density of the living cells in the neighborhood must be to survive cells, the sigma is also high. So we conducted an experiment to explore the neighborhood of all regions reported to generate linear zero organisms using all combinations of sigma and mu in these wedges. We performed 50 trials for each parameter set, and if we found an organism at least one third of 50 trials, we admitted the existence of the organisms. We found the organisms when using 154 parameter sets among 155 sets that were reported to generate linear zero organisms. We also found a tendency about the change in the size of the existence area. The area became smaller for most of the parameter set like this, while it expanded like this only when using 11 parameter sets. We see again that the new organisms are tend to move more smoothly than linear zero organisms as a general tendency is the case is when existence area reduces, the organisms tend to shake their bodies in non-monotonous rhythms. By contrast, in the cases when the existence area enlarges, the organisms tend to have monotonous or no rhythms. This might suggest that complex organisms may be more likely to survive in environments where the boundary between cost and empty is ambiguous or a tough environment. In this show example in which the area reduces and we enlarge it here. You can see that in this case, and the behavior becomes more complex. And in this case, the behavior becomes less complex. During the search, uh, we found many notable organisms with asymmetrical, um, asymmetric body structure or behavior. And this organism has a round shape, um, but it shows regular movements with irregular changes in its internal structure. The organism proceeds as a whole, a changing its shape and the asymmetrical internal structure moment by moment. This organism continues to rotate while repeatedly expanding and contracting. This organism, which is classified into wonder, is the most interesting to me. This has two states, a pulsating in place and the moving. But in both states, the structure and the movement continue to change irregularly. The white dot uh, represents the velocity vector of the center of the mass. This shows its trajectory this is a 3D model of Wanda created by Will Kevin Cavendish. Currently, um, we compare the behavior between similar organisms in linear zero and one. This graph shows the preliminary result. Um, these are the trajectories of masses of similar organisms. In the case of gears, uh, we see some relationship between periodic behaviors. On the other hand, in the case of wonders, we have not found a particular relationship between these two organisms. And let me summarize my talk. We proposed a model that introduces asymptotics to the state updating rule in linear. And we found three organisms with the same parameter set as those in linear zero. We then focused on the regions for the existence of organisms and explored them in the parameter space. We found the new organisms tend to move more smoothly 
than linear zero organisms due to the asymptotic updating. We also found interesting organisms with asymmetrical body structure or behavior. And this might be because a micro, microscopic complex uh, structures tend to be more easy to generate and maintain thanks to the first effect. We believe that the pro proposed model can be another target of artificial life research in the sense that uh, not only new species can be found, uh, but also it can create opportunities for investigating biological phenomena using hybrid models. And this is a great again, uh, meeting small patterns in a hybrid model of linear Z11. And this is the first ever smooth grider in continuous parallel automata. I, if it's okay, I would like to show this um, very short video that what made a few hours ago. Can sorry. Can you see the movie? Yes, yes, we see the oh. asymptotic linear. Okay, asymptotic. It now appears. Thank you uh, for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Takako. Thank you very much. And uh, this was really fascinating. Uh, I, I'm not really an expert in the field, but uh, it's really, really beautiful and shows uh, you know, the unexpectedness of some set of parameters. So also there are other comments in the chat. This, is, this was beautiful. And I think we all are very fascinated. Okay, so uh, now we have time for questions. And I ask the audience whether they have questions or write in the chat or raise the hand. Okay, for, however, I have uh, uh, one question. Again, sorry, this is very naive because I'm not an expert. So you said that the difference from uh, of between a lean, um, linear zero and linear one is that you added a target. So my question is how is important, how important is to choose the right target and how did you choose it? Um.
Ay. Ay. Yeah, here. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, um, I, 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 maybe my question was not clear. You said that the difference is that, you know, Lenya zero interpreting that the result specifies the growth of the cell and linear one interpreting that the result specify the target state of the cell. So, but who decides the target? And is it, is it a, you know, something that must be chosen very carefully? Sorry for the, the question. I don't know if it makes sense, the question. Um, I, I interpret it uh, as a very, um, this uh, total and you enjoy is uh, the target cell state. And so I um, um, interpret it to uh, the in linear, the linear and to um, so is something arbitrary or you select the target? I, I, sorry, I, I don't know if the question is, makes sense. Uh, okay, anyway, I have another question. You show this behavior at the end, which looks like chaotic, but it's not really chaotic, right? I mean, there is a kind of recursion. It goes from uh, two different states and but the phase diagram, phase state diagram is a bit chaotic. Um, what what's the reason of this uh, behavior? You know, at the very end, when you show the uh, on the left, the very ordered and recursive dynamic of a system, and on the on the right, uh, something like a chaotic system. So why this chaotic uh, behavior generate? Uh, sorry, uh, um, please uh, repeat your question. Yes, if you go at the very end of the presentation, you show uh, a, a kind of phase diagram. Yes, I'll show up. No, no, uh, more, you go on, go on, please. Go on, yeah, more. Okay, so, ah, okay, oh. here. So it's very fascinating the, the difference, you know, you, you see very well the difference between a recursive, even if complex, but a recursive pattern and something more chaotic. So uh, what is the major factor that determine the chaotic behavior? If it's chaotic, maybe it's also recursive, I'm not sure. Uh, Uh, I sorry, I'm I'm not sure, but I guess that uh, um, gears is uh, rotate. Mm -hmm. So it's a regular motion on the left. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I understand it's difficult to, to explain because uh, there are many factors, probably. 